there's a clever mechanic for learning more of your hold shortcuts. And this is something that not a lot of people have ever figured out or really thought about. So I wanna quickly talk about or the strategy behind this. So at this bottom level, you also have what I call shift sister keyboard shortcuts. And this is a way to very quickly expand your shortcut horizon for the shortcuts you already know. And some of the best PowerPoint shortcuts are in fact shift sister shortcuts. So what is a shift sister shortcut? A shift sister is simply taking a hold shortcut and adding the shift key. This makes them ridiculously easy to learn. When you do that, what happens? You're either inversing or you're extending the base shortcut for the most part. There are shift sister shortcuts, and we'll look at a couple that do something completely different. And the last thing you need to know about shift sister shortcuts is you do need to hold them down. These are still hold shortcuts to make them work. So let's quickly look at a couple of these that you'll find extremely useful. Well, actually, first, there's two more important points about shift sister shortcuts. First off, just because a shortcut has a shift in it does not mean it's a shift sister shortcut. So F3, for example, in PowerPoint does nothing. Shift F3 is toggle case. So if I come into PowerPoint, if you don't already know the shortcut, if I select an object, if I hit Shift F3, I'm gonna get all caps, Shift F3, I'm gonna get lowercase, Shift F3, I'm gonna get sentence case. Now, if you come up to the home tab, you do have this, um, uh, change change font a drop down toggle case is not part of shift f3 and capitalize each word is not part of shift f3 so if you want either capitalize each word or toggle case you do have to come to this drop down i'll show you how to shortcut this later if you want to do that but for the most part if you're just doing all caps shift f3 will toggle case all caps um lowercase and the third one is sentence case this is not a full sentence with a period another sentence hence you don't see the actual sentence below those are that is the toggle case let me just go back to that one the second thing to keep in mind about shift sister shortcuts is they're not all worth learning. So for example, F10 is the same. I can't hit it because I'm using Camtasia right now, which is taking over the shortcut. F10 is the same as hitting the Alt key in, uh, in PowerPoint. And we'll talk about the power of this in a second. Shift F10 is the same as right clicking with your mouse. So right click. So in Excel, if you're using your keyboard and all of a sudden you need to right click something or in PowerPoint, you're using your keyboard and all of a sudden you need to right click something, Shift F10 is the same as right click. It will bring up your right click menu with all the options that we're gonna talk about, how to fast track those options within the right click menu. F10 is the same as hitting Alt key. So if that's useful for you, you can use those. If those aren't useful for you, I'm just saying that not all Shift Sister shortcuts will be extremely useful for you.